Hello friends, here I am on PC, on my PC, I just want to go through Excel formulas and functions again. As we have seen the previous video, we have seen that in Excel we can use different formulas and functions and today I just want to focus on logical test logical test where we shall uh, we are going to use uh, if and and or yeah this is now different operators that we are going to use depending on the condition this is a table you see it and this is equal to shall use this operator once we are just going to use uh, we are just going to use this uh, equal to here we have less than and here we have greater than we have greater than or equal less than or equal not equal these are operators or different operators that we can use in logical test and here we are going to start with if function with the different examples where we have uh, example one example two and down there example three and this will help us to just to understand well how to use this logical test using if here yeah, as we know and as i uh, just told you in the previous video we have just seen that to use every formula in excel we start with equal equal sign for example here we just have different names and different score uh, and we just want to check status yeah maybe we just want to see how many people here have passed the exam and we just see how want to see if the pass mark is 50 if the pass mark is 50 how many people are just going to pass and i just want my logic to put pass and fail you can just write whatever you want but oh yeah just want to go to to type to, to type pass or fail pass or fail i just want to say it that everyone with the marks that is greater or equal than 50 will get pass and otherwise it fail or supplementary if it is an exam to set that kind of logic i just have to go to formulas and just use if and let me do this i just want in this status to have fail or pass fail or pass and the ones with the marks less than 50 will just get fail the marks before uh, the marks above 50 will get pass and to do that let me just type equal sign and you go to formulas and insert a function and now choose if if it's here i just want to choose it and now it's a logical test what i just want is that i want to test i want to test this logic if c4 the value in c4 the value in cell 4 is greater you go to a keyboard and just uh, just type greater is just greater or equal 50 let me type 50 if the cell c4 is greater or equal to 50 if that is true i just want this one to to pass let me type pass if the value is false this one will fail or we have a supplementary exam and just the remaining is to confirm this this logic the all people with the marks below 50 will get fail and all people will get that who, who has uh, who have 50 and above will get pass 
let me click OK to see. You see, I now have passed. This one passed because 90 is greater than 50. And as uh, we did in the previous uh, video, we scroll down to copy the formula. Let's see. You see all people with the marks with the score below 50 got fail. You see here. And above 50 or equal to 50, it's pass. You see, it's pass. And this is a simple logic. And maybe you just want to change to change the pass mark. And to make it very simple and useful, it's better to set a reference, a refer reference cell. In our formula, we just we have just typed 50. But if you want to change this, it will just take us yeah, too much time replacing here and yeah, and just changing the formula for all cells. But to simplify things, I just want to leave it to this cell. You see, I can say instead of 50, I can just say I can click here G3. If the value in C4 is greater than or equal to G3, the value in G3 is 50. If the value is true, you get pass. If the value is false, you get fail. And I hit enter, you see it pass. But here there is something that I want to show you because you can just write yourself that the formula is there. But once once we refer we refer to a given cell, we need to rock we need to rock the cell. We just need to rock the cell. And once the cell is not rocket and I copy here the formula, I must get wrong result. You see everybody here passed. And you can wonder why. It's because the cell is not rocked to the formula. And to uh, and you see here there is errors. He, this one has uh, 8 score, score 8, and he has a pass. And this is, this is an error. And to make this correct, you just have to rock, you just have to rock the cell, G3. So rock the cell to this formula, to the cell that we are referencing. We just use Dora sign. We just use a Dora sign. You go to your keyboard, Dora sign is this sign, Dora sign. And to rock the formula, we just, we are going just to put Dora sign before G and Dora sign between G and 3. And there the cell formula will be locked. And then type Dora sign G and Dora sign 3. Now the formula is, is locked. I hit, I hit enter. And I copy now the formula down. You see now it's, it's the formula. When the formula is locked, you get just get the the real result. But when the formula is not uh, is not rocket, the cell is not rocket, you get the wrong result. And once I want to change here, maybe the pass mark. I just want to change the pass mark to sixty. You see, it immediately update. In all say in all cells, if the pass mark is 40, you see all cells here updated. If the pass mark is 75, there is no need to copy the formula again because now I I, 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 I have referenced all cells with this cell G3, and then just get back to 50. You see now it updates itself, and this logic. Is very helpful for those who are just uh, comparing two things. Maybe it's scoring. It's uh, you just want to see those who are just uh, able to go to the next level. If it's uh, you can even use this in a business. Once you just want to see people that uh, got this or got this, spend this kind, this amount of money, can use this simple logic. And here we have used pass, but you can just type whatever. You can just type any text you want. And 
it is a, a very simple logic and very understandable let's go to the example number two we now have different clients and they have just a uh, bought different item and this is uh, the item cost the items cost and maybe they want to ship them and here there is a shipping cost and maybe you are setting you see and you just want to set the people who are just going to ship to, to ship the items above this amount will just pay this shipping cost and all the items with the less than this amount will just uh it will be free they will not pay the shipping cost and let me set maybe i just want to say if the people with the items with the cost that is greater than one thousand dollars those people will pay shipping cost i think you understand the logic i want those people with their items with the cost greater than one thousand dollars i just want them to pay shipping cost and below one thousand do not pay the shipping cost and that's a simple logic again a type equal and i go to if now if is there now logical test if the value in c22 if the value in c22 is greater than i can say greater than greater than i can even say greater than or equal to include 1000 1000 dollars if the value is true if this if the value is true those people will pay just 2% of the shipping of the item cost if this value is true those people are just going to pay 2% of the shipping cost if it is 2% of the shipping cost what does it mean it means the value in c22 again is this one times asterisk times 2% if the value is true if the shipping cost is greater than or equal to 1000 this one will just pay 2% of the of the item cost if it's false it means the uh, the item cost is less than 1000 dollars 1000 dollars and let me just put zero this one will not pay a shipping cost but I can just even say, depending on what the logic I want to set, I can even say the value below $1,000 will all pay 0.5% or they will pay 1%. But for now, let me just put zero. Those people will not pay the amount, will not pay the shipping cost. And let me click OK you see this value because this value is greater than 1000 this one will pay a shipping cost of 24 dollars and let me copy the formula down to see you see the one with the 20 item cost of 20 will pay nothing the year it's zero 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 because the item cost are just below 1000 dollars but those one above you see they all pay shipping cost and to, uh, to simplify this also to make it updated depending on the real reference the cell i just want to refer to this instead of typing 1000 as we did above 
let me just screen this one and refer to this 1000 and to make this correct to make this correct to make this correct i will just need to rock to rock the cell with the formula dora sign g and dora sign 22 you just lock the cell and i click ok it's still 24 and i copy i copy down and once i want to change for example the, this value maybe i say 100 dollars you see it's now updated all those with 100 dollars will just pay the shipping cost let me just put again 1000 it will update itself you see those people pay 1500 you can set whatever and this in this cell d it is a shipping cost and i can just totalize i can just find the sum to see how how much everyone is going to pay depending on the shipping cost i just take this cell and add to the shipping cost and i get the total amount to be paid and i copy down the formula those ones with the ship item with the shipping cost less than one thousand dollar they will just pay the same amount nothing will change but once i change here maybe i say fifty dollar you see everything here is updated even this the total even the shipping cost once i say 76 dollar you see it's updated once i say 1000 again it's updated and this is how we can use this logic and i hope now we are just getting something different of how you used to do things before using this if function in a logical in a logical test you can set different different things you can just use your logic depending on what you are doing let me go to let me move to the example number three maybe people here are just uh, using the budget you see the uh, here in this cell we have we have category we have transport the food entertainment and photos and these are these are the things that was just setting as category and here is the budget and here is the actual uh, uh, the budget is there set and you just want to see how people have used the budget just want to test if people did not exceed the budget and those people who are uh, just who have just exceeded the budget maybe you just need to investigate if it is in a in a, any company just want to investigate how those people have just used the uh the money that is greater than the budget let's just use a simple logic i just want to see if the money if the man used is less than the budget there it's okay it's within the budget it's within the budget but if the actual money the, the used money the used amount is greater than the budget it will be a problem then you have to investigate have to conduct investigation to see how those people exceeded the the set uh, budget Ma uh maybe we are familiar with now with this eco sign and i want to set this simple logic if if the amount if the amount in d yeah in c14 is still greater than it is this is the budget is still greater than the amount in d14 in d40 what shall i say 
they are it's okay. I can say okay. You can say it's a, they have used well the amount, amount or money well used or money well spent. Because this value is within the budget. Otherwise, once the value in the budget is not greater than the actual money, you just need to conduct investigation. Now investigate. Investigate. You will need to call the police and tell them here the people that used misused the budget. And let's click OK. In the first cell, in the first cell, it's okay because you see they used 1,800 while the budget was 200, uh, 2,000 dollars, and there it's okay. But let me scroll down to copy the formula. It's okay, but here you see, here there is a problem. You need to investigate the amount in this cell. They have used. 2400 dollars while the budget was for entertainment entertainment the budget was 1500 and there you need to investigate if it is a long list of categories you can just scroll down and see where it was you have just to go and investigate how they have used the money for more justifications for what they did I think now you get an idea of how you use if in a simple logic, in a logical test. Now let's see end and function. We use and function. When we just want to compare, we just want to to get the final result depending on two factors. Maybe I just want to say this is test number one, this is test number two, and in the status I just want to see who will just going when this value is going to be true. The value here is going to be true maybe when. The value in the test 1 is greater than this, and the value in the test 2 is greater than this. Once one statement is false, it means the status will be false. And let's, and let's see how we use AND. Use or type also equal sign. And after that, we just type AND. You can type it, you can just go to function to insert it, it's there. And now you see logic one, you can have many different logics, many different logic, one, two, three, and so on. But logic one, I just want this value in test one, maybe to be greater than, to be greater than 55. And comma. And now going uh, now just now move to the logic number two. I now want the value in test number two to be greater than sixty. It's an example. You can take any number if it's a a task that you are just testing. D seventy is greater than sixty. I think you get something. Once one of the values it's not true, one of the statement in once the, one of the, one of the those two statements not not true, it will be false. It will be true when all the two conditions are true. Let me cross bracket and see how it is. You see it's true. Because the value, the value in the test one is greater than fifty-five, and the value in test two is greater than sixty, it must be true. And I scroll down to see the result. You see here it's false. This value is 
is true is greater than 55 but the second one in the test 2 is less is less than 60 and there immediately it falls because one of the condition is not true it must be true if or when all the two conditions are true and false if one of the condition is false and false again if one of the conditions if all two conditions are false I now hope you are getting an idea on how you can use AND and find function in a logical, in a logical test. Let's now move to another function, to the other function or function. And this OR function is a little bit different from AND. As we have seen above, all the statements must be true but all function there one of the statement or one of the conditions must be true for the status to be true i just want now to know yeah this is a test one test two you can have more than two more than six tests or may more than different conditions that you are just going to test I might say maybe in the test one, if somebody got the score that greater than 50, and not all, yeah, it's all, this, this condition or this one, this or this one, this one can be true. And this one cannot, can, can be false, but one of them, is, if one of them is true, it means that the status here will be true. And let me type equal sign, or you can just type it, or you can just go to formulas and function and just find or. I, I open the parenthesis. If the value in C65, it's, this is the first logic and you see here you can have more more different logic these and these and these and these and one one of them if is true the statement will be true the result will be true if uh, this value when this value is greater than 50 comma or this value is greater than 60. If one of them is true, the status there will be will be true. Let's see. Yeah, this one is above 50, and this one is greater than 60. It's a true. But you see here. This one is uh, is less than 50. Let me check maybe here. Yeah, here you see this one is true. In this cell, the value is greater than 50. And there, the value is less than 60 until the condition. But one of the conditions must be true for the status to be true let me copy the formula down you see there is true false you see where we have one of the condition is you see this one is true but this one is false but it must be true because we have this all this this all this one of the conditions here is true Guys, this is how we can use a logic test, logical test using if, and, and or. And I hope this is very helpful in your daily activities. And let's go and hit subscribe button. You leave your comment there or suggestion. And now just sit and enjoy the video and wait for the coming videos we will be having part three part
party for you'll just have different courses about excel microsoft excel guys see you next time and i hope you're going to enjoy the video